Hi, I'm Kai, and today we have a look at the black box in ePlan. The black box is typically used when you don't find a symbol in the symbol library for your device. In addition to that, you can also combine several symbols to one device with the black box. And we want to have a look on the connection point designation. And here we will have a look what we can do when we need two times the same connection point designation in one device. Because normally it's not allowed in ePlan because the connection point designation should be unique, but there is also a setting for. And we want to have a look how we can display the device tag in different variants on our black box. So stay tuned. To insert a black box, we go to insert and here to black box. We can add a device tag here for example, U1, and click OK. The next step, we add device connection points. We place it inside the black box, and we can add here the connection point designation, for example, plus. And here we come to the first point. Especially on 24 volt power supplies, you can see frequently that you have two connection point designations with the same name, what means, for example, two times plus. And this is not allowed in ePlan. When we make a check run, you will get a message. And the message is duplicate connection point designation plus, because eBlan don't want to have two times the same connection point designation, because each connection point designation should be unique. This is important later on for the wiring, to know exactly where the wire should be connected. But there is a solution if it's necessary to have two times the same connection point designation. We mark them. Click to Properties, we go to the tab Simple Function Data and here to Logic. And here you can find Allow Same Connection Point Designation. We activate the checkbox, click OK. And when we do now the check run again, ePlan will ignore this and we don't have a message for this. In the next step, we go to insert again and we insert, when we click here on the drop down button, device connection point two side. So you can see that there is a long side and a short side when we place it and go to the tab simple function data. You can see that the long side is one and the short side is two. When we click on logic, you can see that the Number one is the external and number two, the internal. So when we place another one, for example, here, we click tap on our keyboard and rotate it. And we give it another name here. Okay. And now you can see that the line is blue instead of red. This is because of the layer management. There is a selection that the internal wiring should be displayed in blue. So now we have them on the right side here and we want to insert, for example, a light. So I delete here the checkbox main function and now you can see that the full display of this light is minus U1 minus P1. So the device tag is nested together with U1 and P1. It can happen that you have a device where other devices are placed in. For example, you have a frequency converter, maybe with a Profinet module or a brake shopper module or something else. So it's also possible to insert another black box inside the black box.
And when we call this, for example, U2, you can see that the full device tag is minus U1 minus U2. In the next step, we want to check a little bit the cross-reference possibilities of the black box. So when we insert, for example, a contact, and we call it minus S1, you can see that the full device tag is minus U1 minus S1. And when you want to have a cross-reference, you can change here on simple function data to pair cross-reference. And when we now duplicate it and some place it somewhere else in the drawing, we need to make sure that we also add the minus U1 in front of the minus S1. Now we need to change here the representation type to multi-line and click OK. And now when we update the connection, we'll get the cross-reference here. So in the next step, we want to change this contact here to U1. It should be really a contact from U1. Delete this one. And when we now update the connections, you get a cross-reference to the black box. In addition to that, you can also change on the display tab, go to contact image and let add and add you a contact image in pass, for example, or on the component we use here in pass. And then you have the same like for conductors, for example. In the next step, we want to check the settings for the placement of the device tag. I often see that people try to show this device tag on the center here on top of the black box. But when they change the size of the black box, it's not anymore on the middle position. So what we need to do here is that it always keeps on the middle position is that we go to format, uh, that we go to display, and here to component, we select the device tag. And First of all, we need to change the alignment. Change to basis center. And the docking position should be above. And we can also delete here the offset. And we need to change the base point from upper left to upper center. Now we click apply and OK. And when we now change the size of our black box, it's always keep in the center. And now we want to check the settings of the nesting. So we go to file and to structure. And when we go to others, you can here find the tab inheritance. And here you can find the settings for the nesting of the device tags. You cannot change something here because, first of all, we need to uncheck here the checkbox. And when we go now to others, you can change here the settings. For example, you can uncheck here general device, click OK, and when we close and save it. When we now check the device tag, for example, for our black box U2, you can see that the full device tag now is only U2 and not anymore minus U1 minus U2. So I don't know any useful application for this. If you know some applications where you don't use the nesting of the device text, please leave a comment. So I would like to know if you use a simple 24 volt power supply or do you use a black box with several symbols and so on. Please leave a comment. So if you like this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm looking forward for more channel members. Stay tuned.